tell you all about it in just a minute. But right now we're going to talk about Atlas Press and Adam Cooper with us. Adam, thanks for coming by this morning. Thanks for having me, Hank. Hey, one of the things that, and I've, I've known uh, your, your dad for quite a while, Alan Cooper, and one of the things that I have found fascinating uh, about Atlas Press over the last couple of years, as you've come back from uh, being down in Miami and, and all the many ventures that you've been involved in, is that the reinvention that it's going through and the reinvention that is it true that it would kind of have to go through because the business that you're in is changing well i think uh you're in a paperless society now i think printing as a whole is still a, a billion dollar industry uh, and it's always going to be needed but uh, you look at a company like atlas that my grandfather started back in 1934 uh, and now you look at it 75 years into the game right. uh, where do you go what do you want to do so you have choices to make in terms of investing in new printing equipment uh, or the latest technology in terms of printing uh, you know those collateral pieces uh, or you go in the direction that atlas decided to do which um, kind of uh, uh, out of the box is how do we become a printer that offers paperless solutions, <laughs> uh, which, which many people you know, wouldn't necessarily want to travel down that road. So by uh, implementing website design and development, uh, social media marketing, uh, video and multimedia production, uh, we now can kind of morph ourselves into a communication solutions agency uh, as opposed to just a regular commercial well, printer. And, and this to me, I mean, you kind of staying true to what happened 75 years ago when your grandfather opens up the business and somebody comes in and says, hey, I've got to get the word out. I've got to get a poster up. I've got to get a flyer somewhere. I've got to get the word out about my business or about my upcoming event or, or whatever it was. The need is the same today, but somebody comes walking in and says, hey, guys, I need a poster for my event. And you're immediately going, Oh, you don't just need a poster, right? I mean, you need where, how's your Facebook page going? What's your, what's your YouTube presence? All of that plays into it. It's an on-demand environment now, uh, whether it's, uh, you know, in a commercial environment, uh, you know, or in a personal environment. Uh, and even with, with, with uh, like a direct mail campaign, you know, you can send out a variable data letter, uh, you know, telling people to come to an open house or, or what have you. Um, but now how do we tie that in electronically? Uh, so let's create something called a personalized URL. So right. that piece of mail is going to speak directly to Hank Stoltz, and it's going to tell Hank Stoltz to go somewhere online that's going to be a page design that says, hey, Hank, hey, Hank, you know, thanks for that's coming amazing. by. Yeah. Uh, you know, and it all you know, uh, intertwines together. So it's, it's how do you keep that consistent brand uh, through print, through web, through video, uh, and have them all working for each other uh, instead of kind of uh, competing with each other. Now, one of the things that I think makes, it, makes a lot of sense, I don't know that it was particularly planned this way, but you went off, you had your own career, you were in Miami for a long period of time uh, doing sports shows down there. You come back up here now, so now you come back to the family business and you bring with you what you kind of learned on the outside. I'm just guessing that it gives you a different perspective than if you had stayed in Boylston, for example, for your whole life. Well, I think you have to have different life experiences and you can bring what you learn you know, outside of your environment uh, at home, uh, back home. Uh, you know, and, and to that point, my father did the same thing. Uh, Al started his career in advertising, uh, and he was in advertising. Uh, came back and took his skills as an advertiser, uh, and you know, infused that into the printing component. Uh, where someone like myself now is kind of a, I've always been a printer, except my form of communication has been electronic, uh, right. and, and that's what we're doing today. Right. So constantly reinventing. I love the fact that it's, it's generation to generation. Your uncle, of course, is involved in the, in the business as well. Now, Atlas. Uh, now has a new logo. Tell me a little bit about this. This was your brainchild. Well, we, you know, we wanted to introduce the new services, but also give people the sense that Atlas was going in a new direction as well. Uh, so what we did, again, not just coming out with, with a new logo per se, uh, we got two logos and we had a contest and that contest was run through a constant contact email marketing campaign and through mm. our Facebook page and we had our fans and our clients help choose the logo uh, just to kind of implement uh, what we're doing and show people how successful this type of marketing uh, can be for a company uh, who's basically just two years ago was just a printer. Well, I was going to say too. I mean, that's the thing about you now. When when it's when it's the Atlas Press Facebook page or your constant contact, since that is part of what you are providing as a service, 
boy, it better be top of the line and it better prove to, to, to work or, you know, because that, that's part of your calling card now. Yes, that's exactly what we're doing, you know, but we often, you know, say that uh, uh, what we're doing for our clients is more important to us than what we're doing, you know, for ourselves. Uh, so the things that we might do, video clips, snippets of that nature, um, you know, are always going to take a back seat to what we're trying to deliver for our clients, whether that's a new website, whether that's video for their website, whether that's a full-blown half-hour, you know, television production that's going to air on television and online. So and, so, and you'll do that as well. If somebody wanted to do a, a half-hour show, you would produce it, you direct it, you, you'd set it all up for them. Yeah, we do everything from, from wow. soup to nuts, and we actually have a couple that, that are in the works right now, and everyone should pay attention this spring. We have uh, uh, our, our local premiere and debut of one of those shows coming up uh, uh, in the spring, and, and we're doing uh, you know all sorts of, of, of other exciting, great things. Fantastic. People aren't going to go far to see that. It's going to be right here, as a matter of fact. Run that down for us, then, exactly what it is that you're going to be... I mean, if somebody comes walking in... Cause my guess is that somebody can come walking in now to Atlas Press and they have a pretty good idea of what they want. Some people will be very exact, but some people will come in and go, I just know I got to get the word out. What do you set up for them? How do you kind of run it down for them, all the different things that you can do? Well, we try and be problem solvers, uh, and, and it sounds cliche, but that, that really is what, uh, what we're trying to achieve. Uh, and I've been back for uh, about four or five months already, uh, and what I'm calling this is, is more of an educational tour, you know, letting folks and businesses in central Massachusetts understand, you know, what we're doing and, and, and not be afraid uh, of the web or of social media or, or of creating a video production you know it seems very cumbersome to some of these people they might be overwhelmed by it uh, but we're what we're trying to do is educate uh, you know the marketplace that that these things are affordable uh, they can be done for you know um, you know within a budget constraint of a regular uh, right. you know throughout the course of a, of a marketing year uh, and it's high quality as, as well so basically it's sitting down with a client you might want to go in this direction. We're going to show you some other avenues. We're going to explain how they all come together. Uh, and then the client makes a decision on the road they want to take. Terrific. New logo looks great. Thank you. Congratulations on that. Thanks for stopping by and telling us a little bit about Atlas and all that you guys are doing. I mean, I really do think that it is fascinating the way the businesses are able to reinvent themselves, keep going 75 years, three generations, long time to, uh, to be in business. And, it, and yet it's as if it's brand new in some ways. It is. It's very exciting. Thank you. Fantastic. Thank you for joining us. And coming up, we're going to tell you how you can help Preservation Worcester by going out and having a fun night. Let's be a lady. It's there second annual casino night and this time it's happening at Union Station. That's on the way on Wake Up Wood. Look good, feel good, get it.